I gotta tell you, one thing happened, and I don't talk about this very much. I was I had a fiance in those those years, and she hooked up with my training partner in early 1981. I was devastated. I was hurt. I I, I couldn't train. I decided somehow I got the energy and conjured up the attitude that I'm gonna use this hurt to train better than ever. And I would go in the gym in the morning, and they were there. They were there. I could see face, huggy bear, touched, and you know, and flirting with each other. And I'm like, I was so hurt. My training became so precise and so good. Every exercise I did, my body blew up and got great response. It was like from this great pain came this unbelievable knowledge of how to put my act together in the gym and train. That year, all the hurt went into my training. Every exercise I did worked greater than ever. The hurt, the pain, the terrible life drama and trauma turned out to be the best thing in the world for me in 81. Now you're just starting, get ready. You know, you can't sit back and, you know, no, 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 it just starts. Everything worked that year, everything worked so well. I opened the door to the gym and my arms grew. And the answer was like, I gotta get up. I, I, gotta, keep, I gotta keep moving forward no matter what. <laughs> I'm going this way. You know, challenge failure every time I learned that on the squat rack. Big shout out to Nicandro Vision. See you soon. You gotta keep getting up. You gotta get up, no matter what. Energy, room, everybody stopped. Everybody looked, and they just glared at me like, like what the hell? And, and I was ready. I was so ready. I mean, it was time to do business. positive attitude, belief system, uh, it, it's amazing what it does to the human spirit. And all of a sudden I'm bigger and I'm stronger. It's about being uncomfortable. I learned in the gym, when you're uncomfortable is when you grow. If you're uncomfortable, you, you grow in the gym. So I apply that to everything I do. Life will drive you down to the ground, like squatting. Life will, life will take you down to the ground. It will tear you apart when you think it's all good. Life shows you you're wrong, you know? It does. But you know something? We're supposed to feel that. We're supposed to go through those things to have the opposite. You gotta have, you gotta have sadness to have happiness. You gotta have terrible workouts to have good workouts. Some of the things I learned about life is that if you want something bad enough, if you really want something bad enough, you can do it. I don't know what I'd do without body that went off the squat rack. It taught me, uh, taught me life. It, it showed me how to live. And, and falling down, failing is part of life. Is life. Getting up every day, no matter what, is living. Everybody said, no, you can't, you're not genetically gifted. Uh, genetics is very important in bodybuilding. And I, was, I thought to myself as a kid, as a teenager, I will not be a victim to my genetics. They will be a victim to me. Okay, and I believe that. I believe reps, high rep squatting can remodel the body. Can remodel the body. I believe this sincerely. You can't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Okay? Because everybody says, oh, you can't or you couldn't. You can be careful with your friends friends you have, you become your friends. If I give up on my dream, if I give up on my dreams, what do you have left? I have to have a dream. I have to have a goal. I have to get up every morning and, and go after something. And I believe in bodybuilding and fitness makes your life better. Abundance and prosperity is what I learned about in the gym. Harder! 
I don't want to think about what I could have, should have done. I want to do it now, and I don't care about talent doing it now because I want it. I want to do it, and it's within me. Determined, motivated, inspired to take your physical self beyond any previous point of accomplishment. Number five, eyelids open now. Gym, I'm not counting how many times I'm doing something. I'm expressing myself from within. And that's where I come from. It's more than just to set some reps and numbers. It's within every human being to take that inner reserve of strength and power and apply it to their personal game. gym in the morning, the way I get in the car, the way I get on the phone, uh, I have an inner confidence. Anything negative that happens to me turns out to be an opportunity in disguise. And I look at life that way. It's hard to understand it at that time. I always find later it was the best thing that ever happened. Devastation and terrible. Oh my God, death and you lose your fiance. You went know, through all that stuff, okay? Those were the years I did best. I was so hurt, I decided to take all that energy and put it into the gym. It was a magical year. Any exercise I did was wow, mind blowing. And every day looked better and better. I'm in the mirror, I'm scared of myself in the mirror. I really sincerely believe that dreams do come true. And if you want something bad enough, and only you or you can't let anybody, especially yourself, get in the way of that.